This classification class, uh, tree um, algorithm has been known for a long time, maybe over 30 years. But over time, people decided that, as um, Bart has pointed out, there is an overfitting uh, problem. Even if you have um, uh, you know, set a high minimum number of samples, you might still overfit because you just happen to be lucky. Right? You pick a certain random seed, and it will build a certain random tree. And that particular tree, even if you set the minimum sample size to, to be big, uh, it, you know, in the in in the grandchildren node, you will still might end up with uh, uh, um, you know some lucky choices, and you 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 think that this is very predictive, but it's just by luck that you build a tree using certain random seed. So what people discover is that well, if randomness is a problem, you can always count on so-called law of large number, right, in statistics, right? Average thing, right? When in doubt generate more samples and average them in statistics. So that's exactly what bagging um, does. Um, instead of building one tree, we build n uh, k trees. Now, how do you make sure that those uh, trees are, are different? Well, um, these trees are built with different sampling of your original training data. Uh, you pick the, you know, let's say you have a training set of n rows, you will sample with replacement, and that's an important concept. Sample with replacement out of that end sample, and then form a new training set, and then build a tree using that new training set. Okay, so that's randomizing the data in some sense. Um, so actually, um, I should back. Uh, I should clarify one thing. Without the bagging, actually, there's no randomness in the in the classification tree because the classification tree, you know, if for a fixed set of data, it will always uh, pick the same sequence of nodes to pick the same set of nodes. There's no randomness if you don't have uh, if you have the same set of sample in the original classification tree. So there's no possibility of uh, finding um, uh, a um, uh, some 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 different sample of trees to 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 overcome overfitting. So the only way to create um, an ensemble of random uh, of trees to form a random forest is to vary the sample, and that's why the sampling with replacement technique is used. And this is called bag. So each tree use a bag of the original data to create uh, this tree, and. Um, so, you know, let's say you created K trees, typically K is 100, uh, you can average the predictions over all these trees. Now they have randomness. The randomness was generated by the random resampling of the original data. That is one way that we overcome uh, overfitting. Another way, I should say. And I think the next diagram illustrated better. So you have originally n sample, and you pick the number one and number three twice, because it's a sample with replacement. So you might end up with two data row in the same bag, and uh, maybe the L sample ended up in bag one, and then you form a new set. And then you do that k times, as you can see. Uh, so each, each bag is a different uh, permutation or a with, well, with different resampling of the original data, which leads to a new classification tree. Uh, yes, now that is a very good question. There is a question about whether the um, you know, random resampling keep the chronology of the sample. They don't. Right? So the random the, the this tree doesn't know the timestamp of your data. It doesn't know it, but um, the way to avoid uh, uh, what is called a look-ahead bias uh, is that we would not uh, pick training and data and test set which overlap in period. So that that is actually the more important thing. It is not important whether your samples, your training samples. Are um, you know are, 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 are mess up in in the time sequence? 
that is not important. But the, what is important is that you are not using some of the uh, test sample uh, that would overlap with the training sample in their time so that you would create a look ahead bias. And the way to do that uh, is again outlined in the, um, uh, in the Advanced in Financial Machine Learning book. And we have instituted that precaution uh, that in our algorithm. If you select time series, right? If you don't select time series, you can't do it. But if you select time series, we will create a uh, so-called um, uh, embargo zone to prevent uh, the overlap of the test period with the training period. Okay. Good. Um, Okay, so next question uh, is okay. Next next slide is that um, um, I keep talking about cross validation as a way to um, optimize uh, parameter, and certainly the number of trees in a random forest that is k is also a hyperparameter, and that's also to be optimized using cross validation. More on that later. So um, now there's another way to um, introduce randomness into your trees in a random forest, not just in resampling the data, but you can also resample the predictors. In other words, at each step of the iteration in building a, in building a tree, you don't consider the universe of all features. You pick a subset. Typically, you pick a random subset of um, five. Your y5, that's another hyperparameter, right? So to be optimized. But let's say we pick only five out of uh, 30 features, and we would only consider that five um, to try to, to see which one is the best to use for predicting uh, to, to, to uh, uh, subdivide that node. Okay, so that, that um, technique is called random subspace. It is randomizing the predictors, sub -sub sampling the predictors rather than sampling the data. Uh, the, the data. So when this, so you can think of batting as uh, randomly sampling the rows and random subspace as randomly sampling the columns of the spreadsheet because the column represent features. And again, at each node, this is sampling with replacement. So it's not like you sample a predictor on uh, uh, node i. You cannot sample it again at the node i plus one or i plus two or whatever. So use sampling with replacement. So the bagging and random subspace together form a random force. It has randomness in both the rows and columns to ensure uh, the lack of uh, overlap.